Good morning. Good morning. So here's the nice little uh, still life y'all can enjoy whilst I read the Norwegian because you know I don't like to be in the video. Okay. Lection femme. Ah. Valjordi. Yay, liquor, ah, snacker, me, in, ven. Yay, liquor, ah, snacker, me, in, ven. I'll try to read things slow the first time and a more normal speed the second time. And then I will CC in the captions when I get a chance. Yay, stood up, ah, vasker, up. I get up and wash up, like the dishes. Or you can say, Yay, storog, vasker up. So I'm uh, doing the washing up, like the dishes. I guess I can mean the laundry. I kind of say it for laundry too, but usually I mean dishes. So, Yay, storog, vasker up. Or Yay, storog, vasker up. Yes, it there is there potato. Or we sit there og ser på TV. So I am sitting and watching TV, or we are sitting and watching TV. We sit there og ser på TV. We sit there og ser på TV. Jeg sit there og ser på TV. Vi sit there og ser på TV. Jeg sitter og skriver et brev. Jeg sitter og skriver et brev. I am sitting and writing a letter. Jeg sitter og gjør lekser. Jeg sitter og gjør lekser. I am sitting and doing my lessons or my homework. A hva gjør du selv nå? A hva gjør du selv nå? And what are you doing now? So say them all again. Normal speed and then slower. Va your di. Va your di. What are you doing? Jeg ligger og snakker med en venn. Jeg ligger og snakker med en venn. Jeg står og vasker opp. Jeg står og vasker opp. Jeg står og vasker opp. I'm washing the dishes. Vi sitter og ser på TV. Vi sitter og ser på TV. We're sitting and watching television. Jeg sitter og gjør lekser. Jeg sitter og gjør lekser. I'm doing my homework. Jeg sitter og skriver et brev. Jeg sitter og skriver et brev. I am writing a letter. A hva gjør du? A hva gjør du? And what are you doing? A hva gjør du selv nå? A hva gjør du selv nå? And what are you doing now? Lekson 5b Hassan sender en e-post. Remember Hassan? He's from Iran. Hassan er fra Iran. So he's missing home and he's sending an email home. Hassan sender en e-post. En. Hassan sitter og tenker på en venn i Aran. He's sitting and thinking of a friend in his home country, Iran. I'll try to read all of these a little slower. Venen heter Ali. His friend is named Ali. Two. Ali går på skola i Tehran. His friend goes to school in Tehran. Hassan er flickning og bor i Norby. Hassan is a refugee and lives in Norby, which is a suburb in Oslo. Today, 
Hassan Stickler to Biblioteca. Hassan Bicycles to the Library. Biblioteca is the library. Et Bibliotheque is a library. So that is an example of why you need to remember articles because you need to put the article on the end of the noun when you want to say the noun, not a noun. Han Vilsinda an Epos to Ali. And I'm not sure I'm actually saying that name right. Sorry, that's just the name in the the example. I don't know how you would say that in Norwegian. He will send an email to his friend Ali. Hassan er på biblioteka. This is Fira. Hassan er på biblioteka. So he's in the library now. Han finner en PC a beginner a skriva. He finds a computer and begins to write. Fem. Han fortæller om Norge a om reisen nogen la. Sorry. Han fortæller. It's so hard sometimes to read really slowly. Um. Okay. So I'm I'm trying to. Fem. Han fortæller om Norge og om reisen gennem Europa. Han fortæller om Norge og om reiser gennem Europa. He explains about Norway and on traveling between Iran and Norway, Europa, Europe. Sex. Number six. Han letter also etter ni hete fra Iran pa internet. Han letter also etter ni hete fra Iran pa internet. He also looks after the news, so looks at the news from Iran on the internet. Han lengter yum. He longs for his home. It doesn't actually say his, but that's what it means. Oh, he's missing his home in Iran. Han tanker pa mora a faren a pa Ali. He's thinking of his mom and his father and his friend Ali. I don't know. Actually, maybe that's a girl's name. It's, uh, I assumed it was a guy. Guy's name. I don't know. It could be either. Anyway, it's his, his friend. Siv or Shu, number seven. Hassan Shapar I Avis Pa Vayan Yum. I'm saying all of these super slow. It's a little vanskly this morning, early, uh, to go back and forth fast and slow, but I'll try to remember to do both. Han Shapar I Avis Pa Vayan Yum. He buys. A newspaper on the way home. Han shopper also an banan a et apple. He also buys an apple and a banana. So an banan a banana. Bananen the banana. Et apple a apple an apple. Applet the apple. I avis a newspaper. Avisa the newspaper. If you were going to use the other uh, gender article instead of using male or female, you just use either, which would be n. Instead of using n and i, you would just use n. So then it would be n avis a avisen. But I use I of these. That's the usual way to do it. But you can do it either way. As long as you're consistent. Atta. Han spies the banana. He eats the banana. Han a littrist. He's a little tired. De er langt fra Norge til Iran. 
it's a long way from Norway to Iran. Ni. Hen treffe Larissa. He meets up with uh, Larissa on the way home once she's on the path. So, Hen treffe Larissa. Hun er samme med Ingrid. She's with Ingrid, the little girl she appears for. Larissa bara en posa me vara. She's carrying bara en posa a bag me vara with uh, stuff in it, like stuff she's bought from the match boutique. T. Han tar posen a Larissa blir glad. Hassan takes the bag and Larissa is glad. D. Gur a snacker. They walk and talk. Elva. Hassan cyclar yam. He bicycles home. So that's another one of those examples where I said that you, it's the action where you can understand that you write the M, the double M and the E means you've already completed the action. So sickler yum means he's going to home. If it was, if he was home, it would be yama. I'll explain those later. In another video, I'm just getting used to that idea. Han er ikke så trist nu. He's not so tired now. Tal. Twelve. Hassan will go pashino om kvelen. Hassan will go to the movie theater tonight. Der går en fransk film a It There's a romantic film playing. Lection fam vitella. Pronunciation. Lang a court vocal. Lang a. Long and short vowels. Long a. Court a. Short a. A plus ingen eller en consonant. A plus any other consonant is a long a. Mat, ta, bra, dag, dama. A plus flera consonanter, kort a is a short a. A plus several consonants is a short a. Flaska, glass, namna, soft, salt, fransk, madang, sorry. Manda or mandag, van, tak, mama, snaka, gamel. And you're not going to probably hear the difference, and I'm probably not saying them that different for you to be able to understand. But you'll learn, and people will understand you. Long e, e plus ingen eller and consonant. A long e is E plus any other one consonant or no consonant. Leka, te, tre, lesa, dara, se. Kort e, e plus fle consonanter. A short E is E plus several consonants. Milk, yanta, as in girl, sex, as in six, englen, tenka, lengta, treten, detta, eter, yama, trefa, lega. And I will CC this in Norwegian and English when I have time. Long, e, which is I, e plus ingen eller en consonant, kort e. E plus flera consonanter. So long E is I plus no 
or one consonant. Shiva, V, Vin, Liter, Spisa, Shiva, sorry, Scriva, Court E, which is I, E plus Flara, consonanta, so I plus several consonants. Film, Shinka, Gift, India, Indisk, Fina, Niti, Midag, Ika, or Isha, Trika, Sita, Trist. Trick. Nor Spizer Kari, Nor Spizer Kari Midag, or Nor Spizer Kari Mida. I usually pronounce the G on that one. Nor Spizer Hun. So Carrie is a girl, so she's a hun. If uh, you said nor spizer gunar, nor spizer han, because he's a boy, so he's a han. She's a hun, and he's a han, because he's a boy and she's a girl. Nor spizer hun, nor spizer hun middag. So I'll say it using his name. Nor spizer gunar. Nor spizer gunar mida. Nor spizer han. Nor spizer han midag. Vorbor hasan. Vor tar hasan busan. Vor bor han. Vor tar han busan. Va your lalisa. What's she doing? No lesser Larissa Norsk. When does she read Norwegian? When's her lesson? Va Jorhan. What is she doing? Na lesser hun Norsk. Sorry. Nor lesser hun Norsk. <laughs> or if it was Gunnar, you'd say Va Jor Gunnar. Nor lesser Gunnar Norsk, or you could say Nor lesser Gunnar Ingalsk. Va your han because it's Gunnar, which is the boy. Nor lesser han Norsk. Nor lesser han Ingalsk because we're talking about Gunnar now. Du skriva du ser. And I'll try to write that out, how you say that. Jeg sitter og tenker på en film. I'm thinking and sitting upon... That's, I'm, it's, you really wouldn't translate this literally back to English. You're basically thinking about a movie. If you're going to translate it literally, it would be, I am sitting and thinking upon a movie. A, so about a movie, but we don't really say it like that in English, do we? So you're just sitting and thinking about a movie. Han står og snakker med Ola. Hun ligger og lengter hjem. Ola går og ser etter Eva. Grammatic. Okay, this is what we're going to discuss the articles where an article is a little bit on the front of a noun. So in English it would be a book versus the book. But in Norwegian, if you say a book, you would say the article and then the noun. But if you say the book, you would say the noun with the article attached to the end of the noun. So this is why you need to memorize which article goes with, with which noun when you learn the words so that when you have to conjugate sentences that you'll already know what article the word is and you just need to switch it from not attached in front of the noun to the back of the noun attached to it. Um, substantive. En ven. Venin. So that would be a friend, 
with the article before the noun, or venen is the friend, so the article is now at the end of the word attached to the word. So I'll just read all of these out, um, and I'll put it in English in the video. En ven venen. En gut guten. En boutique boutiquen. I kona kona. En kona konen. And this is where you get the choice. You can either uh, use the usual, which is I, which is what I would use. But as long as you're consistent, um, and I'll make another video on this that, that explains what I'm talking about a little better. I know it's hard when you know English, but then sometimes you may be not remembering, you're not remembering the grammar, so I'll make a video that quickly explains the grammar in English um, so that you'll understand the grammar in Norwegian. Okay, I kona kona en kona konen and I would always say I kona and then say kona. So a wife and the wife. I would say I book and booka for the book and a book. But if you're going to use N, it would be N book and booken. So a book and the book. And I would use I a vis and a visa for a newspaper and the newspaper. But if you're going to use N, it's going to be an avis, and then you have to be consistent and say avisen. Et barn, barna. Et brev, breve. Et kurs, kurset. Je har en ven. Vennen heter Jan. Jan har ei kona. Kona heter Eva. Eva har et barn. Barnet heter Ola. Ola har en lara. Laren heter Lisa. Lisa letter etter ei book. Bukka heter ni in Nordica. Bukka liker under et brev. Brevet er til tor. Verb plus preposition. Tenka pa noen. Letta etter noe. Fortella om noe. Skriva til noen. So Noah means something, and if you're talking about a person, you say noen. Ord og uttrykk. Jeg sitter og leser ei bok. Jeg sitter og skriver en e-post. Jeg står og vasker opp. Jeg ligger og tenker på Eva. Jeg går og lengter hjem. Jeg går og letter etter en pen. And I'll read this slower. Jeg sitter og leser ei bok. Jeg sitter og skriver en e-post. Jeg står og vasker opp. Jeg ligger og tenker på Eva. Jeg går og lengter hjem. Jeg går og letter etter en pen. Leksjon 5, samfunnsfag. Ni heter på internett. Du kan lese ni heter fra alle land på internett. You can read news from all countries on the internet. Har skolen den internet? Does your school have internet? Har biblioteka internet? Does the library have internet? The end. Hada!